I am going to introduce the introducer of this year's Entrepreneur Award recipient, Mr. Chang Liu. And the introducer is myself. <laughs> Thank you. So, in order to introduce Mr. Liu, I want to introduce myself uh, for less than one minute. Um, I was actually a lawyer uh, with HP, so Kevin, I am one of the lawyers in the room. <laughs> so I was a lawyer with HP, and then later on, now I am the uh, CEO of Unisource, which is a transnational company focusing on technology investment and product commercialization. And last year, in 2014, I co-founded uh, a medical device company in Suzhou, China. So, no matter when I am a lawyer, an investor, or an entrepreneur myself, I truly appreciate the real entrepreneurial spirit. And that is passion, commitment, ownership, and no whining. And that is something I saw in Mr. Liu Changjin. So, he was the co-founder, CTO, and the board member of Aerohive Network, Inc. He co-founded the company in 2006, and he was the CEO from 2006 to 2007. Later on, he served as the CTO of the company until today. So Aerohive was recognized as the fifth fastest growing technology company in North America by Deloitte Technology Fast 500. And the company went public in New York Stock Exchange in 2014, after exactly eight years since its inception. So when I first came to uh, Silicon Valley after my graduation from law school, um, I asked my friends around here, um, what is the most successful company that was founded by Chinese? And then some names pop up, and one of them is called NetScreen. I don't know how many of you uh, know this company. So this company was kind of a, a legend story behind it. And I know that Netstream became one of the most successful networking uh, company founded by Chinese engineers from mainland China. It went to IPO within four years and was acquired by Juniper two years later with 4.4 billion US dollars. And only after I got to know Mr. Liu, I got to know that he was one of the early engineers of the company, and he was also the key architect. So with his technology vision and skills, he actually helped shape uh, the company's product direction and development of the security products. And later on, Mr. Liu uh, joined um, Juniper, of course, and he was also recognized as a distinguished engineer. So in Mr. Liu's spare time, he's also a very active angel investor. So I personally actually introduced a few projects to him, including myself. So he has that passion and kindness when he shares his experience with the younger generation of entrepreneurs. So as a young generation entrepreneur myself, I was truly encouraged and inspired by his kindness and by his spirit and by his persistence. So ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, now let's welcome Mr. Liu Changning to the stage. Uh, thank you, Christy. Thank uh, CIE. Wow, boy, that's a lot of joy. It's really, it's really an uh, excitement for me. It's my honor to receive such a prestigious award from CIE. I haven't imagined this at all. Actually, when uh, Christine encouraged me uh, to uh, enter this uh, contest, I say that's a chance very, for me is very, very slim because there's so many legends, right? Look at David Yi here. We have so many legends in Silicon Valley. Also, look at you guys. We have so many crunchy tigers and hidden dragons, right, among audience. So uh, it's a real honor for me to receive such an award. I also want to uh, take a few minutes to introduce uh, my company, Aerohive, and myself. 
and why we uh, I start this company and uh, what's the benefit of uh, what are we doing. Do I have a clicker somewhere? Do I have a clicker? Oh. Thank you. So uh, when uh, Kevin uh, and, uh, and I chat during the dinner, and we talk about uh, what's the future of the Wi-Fi, right? So uh, Wi-Fi is not about just about the speed and feed. I think the future Wi-Fi, we call it connected intelligence in Arrowhive terms. Arrowhive is a company provide wireless access solutions for enterprise, unlike Google. Google is mainly focused on residential. Arrowhive is focused on enterprise customers. Right, before actually I found uh, Arrowhive in 2006, I uh, working in the networking industry. That was a big jump from networking security to wireless. Why I was doing that? Because 10 years ago, I was saying, wireless is a future, right? Wireless is going to change people's lives. Wireless is going to change people's productivity. That's why I started Arrowhive. So, let's look at uh, some of the data I have here. At the end of 2013, there's more connected device, smart devices than people on Earth. Do, do you know how many people on Earth today? Any answer? How many people on Earth today? About 7 billion, right? A little over 7 billion, right? How many connected devices today on Earth? Smart devices. At the end of 2013, it's more than that. But people expect by end of 2020, we're going to have 50 billion connect devices, 50 billion, more than uh, five, five times, six times of the population we have. Why? That's because uh, the small de uh, smart devices. Before everyone has one laptop, right? Today, look at you. How many smart devices do you have? You have laptop, iPad, well, maybe uh, smartphones, right? You have at least three. At school, some kids have like a game machine as well, right? In the future, we expect more wearable variables, right? And especially in the next few years, IoT is coming. And all talk about connected devices, your refrigerators, your clocks, your smoke detectors, will be all connected. So there are more connected devices in the world. IoT is coming. Also, you look at the traffic. Internet traffic is growing statically, right? But one more important thing is most of the traffic is going through Wi-Fi. Why? Because you spend most of the time indoors, right? Either at work, at home, or at school. That's where you spend most of the time. When you're indoors, what do you expect? You expect you just connect to wireless. You just connect so you can access to internet. That's why so much traffic going through Wi-Fi. And because of that, Wi-Fi, the speed has increased 100 times since its inception. And when Wi-Fi was just introduced, it was 11 bits, uh, megabits per second. Now, we talk about 1.3 gigabits per second. And in the next two years, you will see 3 to 5 gigabits per second Wi-Fi access speed. As Kevin said, speed always increase the applications. More people using internet, the more demand on uh, speed. More speed will enable people to use more applications. Here are some benefits of the wireless. Why we're doing Wi-Fi? Because we have Wi-Fi change people's life, right? Here's if you want just one example. The next, probably, uh, Google acquired Nest like a uh, couple of years ago, right? So Nest just uh, provides a uh, smart uh, thermostat. It has a wireless, connect to uh, your access points at home, then connect to the internet. So you can access uh, the, your thermostat at home through your smartphones. Just that alone, save lots of energy, right? At the same time, of course, save lots of money as well. That's for home. If you look at the education, Education is the one biggest Wi-Fi market. Actually, also is the one of the biggest Arrowhive's uh, market as well. 
uh, around two, uh, 2013, President Obama had this uh, Canada EG initiative. He want U.S. schools, the K-12 schools, to be broadband uh, enabled, 99% broadband enabled. Right? So today, uh, last year, FCC announced they're going to invest at least $1 billion on education for wireless access, including uh, access point and uh, the uh, tablet PCs, that kind of device as well. So that's uh, big spending. Also, uh, some of the big corporations have to uh, uh, want to uh, donate some money, help with this initiative. Apple, uh, for example, Apple is going to donate $100 million to this initiative. I'm proud to let you know that Airhub is a part of the initiative. While Apple is going to deploy, uh, do donate the devices like uh, iPads and uh, laptops, we're going to donate access points to help uh, education in North America. So the Wi-Fi is not just help education, it also helps the retail space. We all know the trend, right? We spend more time, more and more time to do online shopping, right? The brick and mortar retail stores is struggling, right? The Wi-Fi actually is a way to help them because Wi-Fi can track uh, the customers of retail stores. They know where you are, what time you can do store, how long you spend in the store. Right? With those statistics, the retail still will understand the customer much better. So if you go to uh, uh, more and more retail stores, you will see wireless access more and more often. Also, Wi-Fi will help the general enterprise as well. Wi-Fi is more than just the connectivity, just like people. We do have to eat and drink. Wi-Fi do have to provide connectivity. But, uh, Today's Wi-Fi is more than that. Wi-Fi is about connect intelligence. My Wi-Fi access point is a sensor, it's a security device. It understands you much better than yourself. For example, in our access points, we have called uh, DPI engine in Berlin access points. It understands where you are, what you're doing, at which location. Right? For example, it's, uh, at, one, at one school, one kid was a lunch attack. And the, the, the principal was able to find the kids just in a couple of minutes, a couple of clicks, because the, with the, the, the data we collected, we know which location has this uh, attack coming from by which student. So the principal was able to identify the kids within a few minutes. So at the same time, and you'll be warned, so when you go to work, you need to be very careful. Right? If your employees are using our Wi-Fi, they will know when you come to work, when you leave your work, and what you do at work. <laughs> I'll give you an example. Actually, uh, we were giving a demo to a customer. We use our uh, access point in our corporation, right? So in a demo, actually, we find one of our access points has a lot of Netflix, and we know which employees are doing that, and on what device, the iPad. So we can nail down exact location and the name, so be careful. So that, that, that's it. Thank you. I want to uh, uh, wish uh, CIE a uh, prosperous uh, 2015. Also wish every one of you a happy Chinese New Year. Thank you. Thank you very much. And welcome Dr. Chu, Dr. Yan, and Dr. Fan to keep the trophy to the food. Congratulations. This is a very wonderful achievement.